My name is Ryan. I live in Woodenville, Washington. And in 2016, I voted for Trump. But in 2020, I will not be. Um, one of the reasons why I did was in 2016, it was only my second election. And I was pretty ignorant. Uh, really, the only thing I paid attention to was the fact that he would put in a conservative uh, Supreme Court justice. And that was reason enough for me. Uh, and I didn't trust Hillary Clinton, but looking back, I realized that that was uh, incredibly ignorant and that putting a man such as Trump in office was a terrible mistake. Um, he doesn't align ideologically with me at all. Um, I'm a Christian and I think uh, all of the bigoted, hateful, racist things that he says doesn't match up with the Bible and that I'm really sickened by the fact that there are lots of Christians that um, repeatedly defend him and really put politics above their own religious beliefs, which isn't what the Bible tells us um, to do. So it's just something that I don't uh, believe is right. And I don't think that Trump is a good leader or a good uh, representative of what the country was founded on. Uh, if you look at a lot of things that he's done, they don't match up with uh, the Republican Party historically. He's not fiscally conservative. He doesn't protect the military like he says, says he does. Um, he doesn't care, you know, about the middle class, which, you know, most of the country is the middle class. And uh, he promised to make rich people richer, but that's about the only promise that he's kept. And in 2020, I'm gonna be voting for Joe Biden. I think he is a respect, respectful man who uh, will bring honor back to the United States and what the presidency stands for, because he believes that the president is someone who is there to serve us, the people, and it's not about me, like Donald Trump believes. I'm looking forward to a president that isn't constantly in the news cycle for everything he retweets and everything he says, uh, who always is making about him and constantly shifts the blame. Um, so yeah, if you're a Republican and you truly believe in the uh, way the Republican Party used to be and some of the things they used to stand for, Donald Trump has to go.